structure. What is structure? Structure is a term used to identify the direction of the market on a specific time frame. It can either be bullish structure or bearish structure. Sometimes this can also be referred to as an uptrend or a downtrend. Why is structure important? When trading, it is important to understand the structure of the market to determine what direction it is most likely to go and to identify what the banks are doing. Banks will leave their footprints in the form of structure and reading it correctly will help you determine if you want to buy or sell the market. If the market is showing bullish structure and continuing to drive up, then you will want to buy with it. If the market is showing bearish structure and continuing to drive down, then you will want to sell with it. Any questions? No. How to spot structure? Bullish structure. Bullish structure is when the market is creating structure higher lows and structure higher highs. Sometimes you may see abbreviations for structure higher lows as HL and structure higher highs as HH. A structure higher low is when the structure low is higher than the previous structure low. A structure higher high is when the structure high is higher than the previous structure high. Bullish structure can also create equal structure lows and structure higher highs. An equal structure low is when a structure low is at the same level of the previous structure low. It is neither higher or lower than the previous structure low. Structure highs can be represented as wicks or candles closures, whichever is higher. Structure lows can be represented as wicks or candle closures, whichever is lower. I know I said a lot, so we'll break it down. So within this first example, um, bullish structure is when the market is creating structure higher highs, structure higher lows, and structure higher highs. This is that first example. If you notice, we have a high here and then we have a low here. The next high that it creates, it's actually higher than the previous high. This is why this is considered a higher high because it's higher than the previous high that it just created. This higher low is a higher low because it's higher than the previous low that it just created. So in very simple terms in bullish structure, you'll be seeing higher highs and higher lows. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Cool. The second example I'm talking about is bullish structure can also create equal structure lows and structure higher highs. So in this case, you can see that price did create the higher low, but in this example, price creates an equal low and the equal low is considered an equal low because it's at the same level or it's equal to the previous low. It's neither higher or lower than the previous low. Price still creates a higher high, but it doesn't create a higher low. It just creates an equal low and that's perfectly fine. Does that one make sense? Yeah. Yep. Cool. And in this case, I do have some chart examples later on down here, I believe. But the way I identify structure is structure highs can be represented as wicks or candles, whichever is higher. Structure lows can be represented as wicks or candle closures, whichever is lower. And what I mean by that is whichever one is higher or lower, I will use. Some people don't consider wicks and they use candlestick closures. I will always use wicks. Whichever one is, if I'm measuring a high, I will always use the wick high. If I'm measuring a low, it'll always be the wick low. That's what I mean by that. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. This is just the exact opposite, but I'll say it the other way. Bear structure. Bear structure is when the market is creating structure lower highs and structure lower lows. Sometimes you may see abbreviations for structure lower highs as LH and structure lower lows as LL. A structure lower high is when the structure high is lower than the previous structure high. A structure lower low is when the structure low is lower than the previous structure low. Bearish structure can also create equal structure highs and structure lower lows. An equal structure high is when a structure high is at the same level of the previous structure high. It is neither higher or lower than the previous structure high. Structure highs can be represented as wicks or candle closures whichever is higher structure lows can be represented as wicks or candle closures whichever is lower so same thing bear structure you're going to have a low and high price will create a lower high and a lower low and these are lower than the previous highs and lows in this second example you can have an equal high it's not higher than the previous high it's not lower than the previous high it's just equal and so this is still valid bear structure any questions there no nope. now structure from a bank perspective bullish structure in bullish structure banks are buying at the structure lows and taking profits at the structure highs if banks are buying at the structure lows, then these are going to be considered strong or protected lows. They will be considered strong lows because if banks are truly buying here, they will not want price to break underneath. If price did, that means their buy orders would be in drawdown. They are the ones in control of the market and want to minimize their drawdown and losses. The structure highs will be considered weak or unprotected highs because banks are buying and want to continue price to the upside. The structure highs are meant to be ran through. You know that they are taking their profits off their buy orders at the structure at the new structure highs because a take profit is a sell limit. Sell orders are pumped into the market to cause the drop in price. So to break it down even more in bullish structure, at these lows, there's a reason why price is going upwards. Price is going upwards is because there are overall buy orders in the market that cause price to go on up. And the fact that we know that banks control the market, we understand that the banks are pumping buy orders in the market. And you can see that based off of structure. At these lows, as price goes on up, we understand that they are buying. And when price comes back on um, back on down and creates a new higher low and price continues to go on up, 
up, we understand that, that they are continuing to buy. And in structure, these lows are going to be considered strong or protected. The reason for that is because if you can imagine, if you were in a buy order, would you want price to go underneath your entry point? I highly doubt it. You wouldn't want to go underneath the entry point because then you would either lose the trade or you would be in drawdown. The banks control the market and they do not want drawdown or to lose a trade. So therefore, these are considered protected and strong lows because price, the banks want to protect them, of course. And the highs are weak, unprotected highs because the banks aren't trying to protect these areas. They want price to continue to go upwards. In order for price to continue to go upwards, they have to break these highs. And that's why price creates higher highs. Does that make sense so far? Yeah. And when price is going downwards, we understand once again, when banks take profits off their buy orders, those orders are technically sell limits, which are sell orders. And those sell orders are being pumped into the market to cause that bearish price action. So banks are buying upwards. They take their profits, which pumps sell orders in the market, pushes price back on down, and then they buy again. They push price back on up. They take their profits and that's what causes price to pull back down. So it's the constant protecting of the lows and the constant breaking of the highs. And that's how price creates those higher, high, higher lows in the market. Any questions? No? Cool. No. So bearish structure, same thing, but flipped. And bearish structure, banks are selling at the structure highs and taking profits at the structure lows. If banks are selling at the structure highs, then these are going to be considered strong or protected highs. They will be considered strong highs because if banks are truly selling here, they will not want price to break above. If banks did, that means their sell orders would be in drawdown. They are the ones that control of the market and want to minimize their drawdown and losses. The structure lows will be considered weak or unprotected lows because banks are selling and want to continue price to the downside. The structure lows are meant to be ran through. You know that they are taking their profits off their sell orders at the new structure lows because the take profit is a buy limit. Buy orders are pumped into the market to cause the rise in price. Once again, if they're selling, they will be selling at the highs. They will run through the previous lows because they are not strong lows. They are meant to be ran through. And when price goes bullish, you know that they are taking profits off their sell orders because a take profit is a buy limit order, which in turn is just a buy order in general. And if buy orders are being pumped in, that's what causes the bullish price movement. And then when price goes back on up, they decide to sell again. They push price back on down. And that is what creates the new structure lower high and creates the new structure lower low. Any questions? Um, this is just like one type of structure, right? There's only bullish structure or bearish structure. Price can either be going up in structure or down in structure. So there's only two types of structure. You may get different variations of them, which we will go over, but you oh, only okay. have bullish okay. or bearish structure. Okay. All right. Because, yeah, I was just, you know, looking at the chart and it didn't necessarily correlate yeah. to... Just yeah, it won't, won't be this crystal clear. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, it won't be as crystal clear, but the whole premise is the, the concept of it is still this, no matter what. So we will work up to those complex structures is what I call it. But at the end of the day, it will always be either bullish structure or bearish structure. So here are examples of structure on the charts. Bullish structure. In bullish structure, you will see the structure higher lows and structure higher highs being created. You will use the highest wicks for the structure highs and the lowest wicks for the structure lows. It does not matter, matter whether the candle is bullish or bearish so here we got a high we got a low use the wick high and use the wick low you can see the highs are getting higher and the lows are getting higher bearish structure and bearish structure you can also see the structure lower highs and structure lower lows you will use the highest wicks for the structure highs and the lowest wicks for the structure lows it does not matter whether the candle is bullish or bearish bearish structure we got a low got a high we got a lower high and a lower low price is going downwards and i always use the wicks in this case i will use the lowest of the wick and the highest of the wick make sense yeah yeah well and then when annotating structure on my trading view these are my settings Structure settings. When annotating structure, I use the trend line. You can find this from the toolbar on trading view on the left hand side of the screen. It is the second icon down under trend line tools. You can click the star icon to save it to your favorites. This will allow you to draw a horizontal line on the structure low and structure high. I have the color set to white with the opacity set to 100%. The thickness is the smallest one. You can create multiple templates for multiple time frames. All you have to do is create a template for whatever time frame you plan to use it on. For example, if you want to have a template for the M15 structure, you can create a template called m15 structure low and a template for m15 structure high you will also be able to add text in the next tab over and label it to whatever you want to say you can do this for all your time frames so you can easily access them whenever without having to type the labels again so what i mean by that is if i'm drawing structure if i have this labeled as a structure high i will use this trend line tool and the trend line tool is right here click here click trend line and i will draw a line out one this way and if i think this is my structure high i think i have a so me personally i just have it labeled as a structure high and a structure low but what i was trying to say was if you go over here fix the settings however you want go to text you want to label this as m15 structure high you can click template save as and then name it whatever you want and then save it so in the future when you're trying to draw this line again draw it out double click it click template and then here's that saved preset when i click on it it'll say m15 structure high so you can do that for all time frames any time frame you want highs lows whatever personally me i wouldn't use this i just use structure high if i'm drawing a structure low i would draw structure low here but you can draw it however you want if you want to draw dots you can do a little 
dot like this. I'm just showing you what I do. You think since it's not that many of us in here yet, um, when we get to this point where we're setting up our trading view, you could uh, help us do that? Yeah, so one of two things, if I need to help more, I can. But the whole goal of it is I have it all written down with all my settings. I'm making videos with you right now so you can go back and rewatch them. And so it really wouldn't need help if it's perfectly done. But if you guys need information that I haven't provided yet, absolutely. I will make videos, do whatever I got to do to get that information to you. But the ultimate goal is after this video, there's going to be a literal vi video showing you how to do it. And also I have my settings right here. So if somebody knew was to, where to come, they wouldn't need anything else. They have everything they need. Gotcha. Okay. You get what I'm saying? And of course, if I haven't provided something and I missed something, yes, I will make it and make sure it's all there for free. Make uh, sense? Thank you. Yeah, I got you. Cool.